So what I learned from every Resident Evil. What did I learn in Resident Evil? What did I learn from Resident Evil? What did I learn in Resident Evil? You say to never. Everything is bullshit. Ever. We're all fucked and we're all gonna die horribly. The end. Trust big corporations. That's it. There is no way around it. I made a thing called the T virus. Full of bullshit. I prefer my tea completely without viruses. If anything, all you need is some primo herbs. This has been run through malware by anti malware. And you'll never turn. I wholly recommend it. You might say don't trust the government. I'd say I pity you, but quite frankly, I don't. The government wasn't behind this. Europe is a much more interesting trip than Africa is. But you know who's higher up than the government? Damned corporations. We're all gonna die and it's gonna suck. When a horror franchise lasts long enough, um, they become telekinetic. It comes when you're least expecting, it comes when you are expecting it. There's just nothing you can do about it. Headshots don't matter if they're big. And that's fucking life. Deal with it. You shoot them like 50 times with a dick and it'll have the same effect. Uh, it's the zombie outbreak is just the end of the world as we know it. The zombies are coming to kill you and you're gonna fucking die. You don't win. Some crazy lunatic. His name is Albert Whisker. Who wanted to take over the world. He decides to pick fights with all sorts of people. I mean, look how many times they fucking beat Wesker. One guy named Chris, he punches boulders for a living. It's no different than real life. And, uh, naturally that went about as well as you would expect. Maybe if he took off the glasses, he would have had a chance. He still fucking comes back? What is that bullshit? And another thing. The scariest part of them is the, uh, pack. Well, immense back pain that your lead must suffer from. Make sure you're equipped for this situation. That's the only explanation as to why they can't carry a ninth item. Make sure you've got a tactical vest. Either that or maybe it's just because they've been hunched over a typewriter this whole time. Make sure you've got a few blades, things that don't jam. Really just an angsty hot topic. There are, either that or maybe with the herbs, they actually took the pot and the soil with them. Maybe they just watered them. Keep some guns up because you don't want these zombies getting close if they don't have to. And maybe they're just stupid. This game's stupid. Practice your combat. What do you think Capcom's favorite food is? Here's a joke. A Jill sandwich! God damn it. <laughs> Resident Evil taught me how to walk. Uh, because these zombies make up. It's actually the tears of Mega Man fans. As unlikely as it seems. I'd like to have an alternative to that. Because corporations are dicks. Or in terms of going into space. They don't care about you. Because he thinks he's a god. They don't even really care about themselves. But he is crazy. Unless it involves making money. Well, I don't know about you. Uh, maybe my mind's a lot more. It's, it's awful. We're taking over the world, I guess. You suckered those idiots. He thinks he's a god. That's what I learned in Resident Evil. That's what I learned about Resident Evil. That's what I learned in Resident Evil. Salute. Hey everyone, it's The Metal. I'd like to thank you again for watching this video. We always have fun making them. I'd like to thank Pattaya and Johnny for coming back for a, another episode of What I Learned In. You can go ahead and check out links for either of their two channels. Pattaya with his... Uh, combo videos, fighting game stuff, and I think he's been getting into Overwatch recently, and Johnny's always covering the same stuff he always covers. Interesting, so check it out. And you can also click on either of the links for whatever two videos I decided to put up today. We uh, appreciate you coming by, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. But truly, the most important thing that Resident Evil has taught me is that as an aspiring graphic artist, all I need to do to make a good logo is to make it look like a little girl sucking off a giraffe's dick. That is the best logo 